Hi folks, so welcome to WTW Science with Dr. G. It's been a long time since we did an experiment. She has an awesome one here. We're going to be looking at water rockets and it's a very, very simple procedure, but you've got to be very cautious as well when dealing with fast moving rockets. The rocket that we're going to be using today is very, very simple. You require a two liter soda bottle, a bicycle pump like the one you see here, but the magic behind the entire procedure or the launch is the actual rocket launcher which is constructed by my very good friend uh, Professor uh, Jeff Binden. So it says water rocket so that's exactly what we're going to use. Water in a bottle, not too much of water, the bottle is just too full then it has too much of inertia and that's going to have a problem launching itself. So what we're going to do is maybe just over three quarters or just above half a bottle of water in there, plug it into the launcher itself and all we're going to do is just pressurize the air above that and demonstrate the power of Newton's laws of motion, the second law and the third law here. So also exercise those of caution, you're not too close to the, the launch site, if I may call that. Also your spectators is a good distance away. And uh, yeah, so here we go. The countdown for this water rocket is totally uh, unpredictable. So uh, counting down from 10 to 0 is not going to help you. And you'll also notice that it has the bottle as the air starts to come under pressure. We did something there. And the bottle's over there very quickly. But I want to point out something very interesting for you as well. And that is, inside this bottle, you find a little cloud developing. Uh, here you see it right there. And that's due to the the air inside that bottle expanding and then cooling down to form a little cloud in that bottle. Now we have an enthusiastic uh, science buffon over here. Seth is going to help me with the next launch. And what we're going to do is just increase the power behind the rocket. And hopefully we can get this bottle to go very quickly. And in the process, water your garden and maybe your neighbor's garden as well. So Seth, we we'll let you go with this one very quickly. Again, it's exercise extreme caution. Keep your eye on the bottle. If the bottle does not take off, do not go and interfere with it. Try to kick it, pinch it, push it because it just waits for you. And there we go. Okay. So that tree was uh, the interesting bit over here. Now, big question. Will this actually work with an empty bottle? So, no water, just air in the bottle itself, and uh, let's have a go with that and see whether this will work. Okay, now again, because there's no water in the bottle, very little inertia, the rocket is very light, so it can't fall. So just for demonstration purposes, I just want to show you that it's possible to launch a bottle just filled with air. So all we're doing now is just pressurizing that, just increasing the pressure in the bottle. You get to see the bottle expanding. We take slightly longer than the bottle with the air, with the water inside. Uh, there we go. Right in there. And that should give you a nice, beautiful little cloud inside that bottle. Okay. These rockets travel very fast, and if you want to actually get them to move in a proper straight line, you need to change the aerodynamics by putting on a nose cone onto the rocket and uh, yeah it's lots of fun keeps you away from the TV TV and actually gets you to be outside now very very important again I must emphasize when you're dealing with rockets you got to exercise extreme caution it's very difficult to predict where the rocket's going to go or where it's going to land so make sure you keep your distance and if it doesn't take off the best piece of advice leave it alone come back a day or two later so thank you for watching and hopefully we'll have a few more videos coming your way. Now it's time for the big launch. So here we go. Keep your eye on the bottle. Always keep the eye on the bottle. It's taking a lot longer. And you've got to keep your eye on the pressure gauge over here as well. So we're basically almost halfway through there. And you get to see the bottle lean over and you know, time's almost up. What did it 
Oh, wow. Well.